Chuck Finley against Will Clark. Got it. Solo shot for Will. The thrill, 23rd of the season. 1-0 Rangers in the second inning. Same inning, same score for Royce Clayton. Two on, and this is what we in the business call a good piece of hitting. Going the other way, down the line. Pudge Rodriguez, Mike Sims, come on down. A double for Clayton. 3-0 in Texas, and then Clayton would steal third. Mark McLemore walked, and Roberto Kelly runners on the corners. Grounds it to third, and the Angels going to try and go around the horn. But Kelly busting his hump the whole way. Safe. Clayton scores from third, 4 0 in Texas. As for Terry Collins' his team, not nearly as much success running the bases. Garrett Anderson off with the pitch in the top of the fourth. Mark Johnson laces it to left. Anderson makes it all the way to third, and he has to be held up there. He can go from first to third all that fast. He would be stranded. Now, Pudge Rodriguez in the same situation at first in the bottom of the fifth. Watches Tom Zeal line it to left, and he's coming hard all the way from first. Waving him home. Here's the throw of the play at the plate. There's no call at the plate, which means touch the plate. Now there's a call he's safe. 5-1 Rangers. Top of the seventh. Runners on second and third. Greg Jeffries, three for three at this point. A tough out for Todd Stoudemire. Gets him swinging. Stoudemire is loving. Jeffries, bum. Rangers would go on to win this key contest, 5-3. to three. The former Cardinals, who were supposed to help Texas, run away with the division, did their part Wednesday. Says... Say hello to my little friend. 433 foot bomb. Four straight at bats with a homer. That ties a major league record. He's got 41 on the year. Indians up 3 0. And say hello to Jim Tomei. Back from the disabled list, he's a factor. In his first at bat, he homers. He does. First since July the 31st, 30th homer of the year. The Indians take a 5 0 lead. Tomei, glad to be back. Charles Nagy gets hit by Matt Lawton. Nagy throws him out with his left hand. Trainers check Nagy in the dugout. He would continue, and Manny Ramirez would continue belting him out. After grounding out in the second, breaking up the homer streak, he starts a new one. Five homers in his last six at-bats. Five homers in two games. Ties a major league record as well. The Indians hold on to win 8-6 and clinch the Central Division. And it's time to now, after the hugs, to face left field. That's going to come out of somebody's budget. Oh, actually, that was planned. Oh. It's the fourth straight division title for the Indians, who become only the third team. Game wild card lead over the Mets headed in. For the second night in a row, they're trying to make Sammy fill at home. Top one against Joey Hamilton with Lance Johnson in first. Sosa doing work. Hard grounder by Caminetti. Root a single. Sosa three for five on the day to raise his average to 313. We'll have more. And guys, just please be patient. Top three, Sammy against Hamilton. Deep to right, but not deep enough. Tony Gwynn hauls it in. Top seven, no score. Bases loaded for Sosa. Already with three home runs off Hamilton this season. Sosa, no homer. But Sammy, it is your world, kid. The rest of us just paying rent. Scores Lance Johnson, Terry Mulholland. Sammy has said, hey, I have 62 homers now. It's good enough for me. Now I got to help my team to the playoffs. Cubs take a two-zip lead. Bottom seven, Carlos Hernandez, no doubt. Number nine on the year for his career against the Cubs. Hernandez hitting 359. We're tied at two. Top eight, 2-2. Two, two. Bases loaded for Sammy Sosa facing Brian Bowringer. Look out. 1-0 count, two down. Sosa waiting. Swung on! Deep! Art McGuire! You got company! 63! Grand slam home run! Sammy Sosa! Sammy Sosa, his third grand slam in his last 34 home runs. He went 246 career home runs without a grand slam. 63 of a year, 154 RBI to take over the RBI lead away from Juan Gonzalez. And you know Sammy's going to come out for the curtain call. Even from the opposing team, unbelievable. He is now tied with Mark McGuire. 63 home runs for the year. Ironically, Cubs win it. First and third one out, Mike Piazza. He's been blowing up with a 438 batting average this month. Grounds into the 643 double play. One of four double plays the Mets hit into. Bottom three, Carl Everett banging. Against Bobby Jones, Everett destroyed the hanging curve. Two run shot, career high number 15 home run of the year. Two zip throws, top seven. Brian McCray hits a comeback on the Hampton. Loses some cool points and then gets them back. Nice throw to end the inning. Top nine, Mets down, two zip, Mike Piazza on deck. Two outs, Billy Wagner facing John Olerud on a 3-2 count. Olerud hums a grounder to Sean Barry. Barry's going to boot the ball. 
He'd have to leave the game with the hurt finger. They originally rooted an error. They later changed it to a base hit. Bobby Valentine geek because his man is coming up. Next batter, Piazza. Two on, two out. Booyah! Opposite field. Three run shot. 32nd of the year. 200 for his career. Six homers and 17 RBI this month. Mets lead 3 2. The Astros shell shock. Wagner tells Hampton, my bad. Bottom nine, one out. Dennis Cook facing Brad Ausmus. Peace. On the night that Ausmus' childhood next door neighbor, Derek, is a guest in our ESPN studio, Derek, a Met fan, watches his guy hit his sixth homer of the year. Four of Ausmus' six homers have come in the seventh inning or later. Bottom 10, two out, bases loaded. Greg McMichael facing Ricky Gutierrez. He had a 3 0 count on Gutierrez, fought back to strike him out. Mets get out of a jam. Top 11, Todd Hundley. Still available on the bench. He gets his chance. Hundley as the pinch hitter. Mm, you not my mm, daddy. The guy who set a catcher record with 41 homers in 96. Had 30 last year. Just his third this year, but a key time. Mets lead 4-3. Piazza gave him his prompts. Valentine gave him his prompts. And then Turk Window schooled Russ Johnson. Window struck out the side for the first time all year. Mets win a thriller 4-3 in 11 innings. Mets have won 17 of the last 21. One run. Garcia hits it off the former Cy Young winner's foot. Bill Miller, fade, fire, got him. Miller also four for five at the plate, scoring two runs. Bottom six, Diamondbacks down 4-1. Jay Bell getting jiggy with it. Singles to right. Marvin Bernard tries to throw to third. The ball goes into the dugout. Three run score. Bell, 64 RBI this year. We're tied at four. Top ten, Barry Bonds facing Greg Olson. Bonds. Barry Bonds. Shake, not stir. Deep to center. Off the wall. Bill Miller scores the go-ahead run. Bonds comes in with his fifth triple of the year. Giants win the game 6-5. to five. J.T. Snow, 2 for 5. Away from that plate. Buford with the swinging bunt. Rafael Palmero's coming home. So is Garcia Parra. The initial call is out, but Daryl Cousins realizes the ball is free, and now everybody's safe. Sox take a 1-0 lead. Lenny Webster on 2-on-2 two two out. 2 nothing. bottom of the second. A lot of twos, including second baseman Donnie Sadler flashing some leather to end the inning. Bottom of the eighth. Sox up 4-2. Dennis Eckersley, the Sox third pitcher of the inning. Two on, nobody out. Eric Davis at the plate. Hot ED. Grounds to Sadler, who steps on second, throws to first for the double play, and the Sox will get out of the jam, head to the ninth up, 4-2. It's 4-3. Tom Gordon struck out Rich Becker and then tells Robbie Alomar to end the game. Curse this. Or now he tells him that. Alomar stings one to center field, but that'll wrap it up. Damon Buford makes the grab. Gordon ties the major league record for consecutive games saved at 38, and he also set the all-time Red Sox save mark with his 41st 20. Bottom of the first, starting things and off with Camara Barti. First batter of the game swinging. Next batter, Frank Catalanato goes down looking as Clemens moves into 10th place on the career strikeout list, passing Bob Gibson with 3,118 Ks. And then he gets Barti in the third, in the sixth. Swinging. Clemens with eight strikeouts through six, but his one mistake, Luis Gonzalez. Got it. The bottom of the seventh, the solo shot. Gonzalez is 21st. Luis makes it a 2-1 Blue Jays lead. Gonzalez is homer. The first Clemens has given up 97 innings. The last one was in Tiger Stadium on July 12th against Tony Clark. But Clemens didn't miss a beat. Camara Barti went down four times on strikes. Clemens finished with 11 strikeouts. Wins his 14th straight. The 14th straight decision streak is the long. First, a run in. Bubba Trammell at the plate. A very wild pitch, and Joe Girardi can't find it. McGriff coming in all the way from second. Holy cow. Joe Torre, distressed. Take another look. Girardi, fabulous defensive catcher, needing some help. Devil Rays lead two to nothing there. That's your score. Top of the fifth. Runners on the corners, one out. Tony Saunders facing Chili Davis. Grounds it to the five, four, three, double play. Getting at bats for Chili is also a Joe Torre priority as we go down the stretch. Ends the inning. Bottom of the six, four, nothing. Devil Rays, Pettit, and Trowell Aaron Ledesma visits the gap or the Outback Steakhouse. A fan becomes a factor. Trammell scores on the double. Ledesma, two for four, two RBIs. Pettit discussing things with pitching coach Mel Stoudemire. Pettit gave up seven hits in six innings. Four of his six runs were earned. The Devil Rays blanked the Yankees, seven nothing. Said Pettit after giving up at least five runs for the season. No score. Are you old school? 34th home run of the year for Jones, a former high school all-district wide receiver.
One's at Braves. John Smoltz wasn't in a lot of jams, but when he was, his boys bailed him out. Kevin Sefstick grounds to Andre Scalarock at first. Heads up play. Gun down Marlon Anderson trying to advance to third. Smoltz, he wins six innings. No runs. More defense. This time by a fan on a foul ball. Check out the one-handed grab by the fan. Curtis Pride is like, yo, man, nice roll, shorty. Now, uh, let me show you how the big man do it. Ruben Amaro ropes one to left field, but Pride straight butter. Pride also blew up at the plate with an RBI double. A couple of stints in the minors this year, but Pride always competitive. I'll be rock your world, Bart. At one point, Peters retired 14 of 15 batters. Bottom four, no score. Peters against Brian Jordan. Jordan lines it to left center, but Turner Ward getting a little freaky with the leather. Ward making up for an 0 for 3 day at the plate. Bottom 7, 3 nothing Cardinals. Jason Christensen, who gave up McGuire 63rd, then got an autographed ball from Big Mac, then said, I was hoping I'd get another shot, gets another shot, and gets McGuire to hit it deep, but not deep enough. Turner Ward at the warning track. McGuire 0 for 3 in the game with one walk. Bottom 8, Javier Martinez facing Brian Jordan. Jordan fouls it down the right field line. Kevin Young makes a slam it, diving catch into the crowd. Jordan robbed again. You can always go back to being a DB in the NFL. Nice catch, not enough. Cardinals win it 